so now we have arrived at ndora reptile education center guys i really love this place it's located at 67 dandy drive in montrose it's actually right next to water world so you're not going to get lost um in terms of pricing it's three dollars for kids and five dollars for adults so their pricing is very fair very affordable at Sindori Reptile, you get to see different types of crocodiles. So let's get into that and understand more about these ancient species that are still here on Earth. We'll start with our Nile crocodile. Okay. The indigenous to the country. Okay. And to most African countries. Okay. They are a predator and they are the apex predator in the water. Okay. Um, so they mainly live and hunt and breed in the water. Um, he's actually just gone under the water at the moment. Okay. I did get to see later on our shy crocodile. Isn't she pretty, guys? I mean, it, it's really hot in Bulawayo, and half of her body was on water, and the other half she was catching the sun. What I love about Andorra Reptile is if you have a question, they're going to answer that question. How do you know if a crocodile is a male or a female? So you have to actually probe um, around about the anus area. Okay. Um, the testicles or vagina is inside the actual, on the inside of the crocodile. Oh, okay. So I can actually show you on one of the smaller ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a speculated caiman all right south america they yeah, also part of the croc family all right um, but this one's got more of a rounded nose Let's look. Okay. That's where oh. they check to see if it's a male or female. Or female, okay. Yeah. Um, so this guy has already been sexed. He's a male. Okay. Um, but yeah, they normally do that. You know, we get a vet to come out and actually do that. And do that. Okay, no, that's, that's great. That's really okay, guys. So let's get educated about one more crocodile and then we move on to the snakes. So what does what does she eat? So we normally give them mice, um, dead chickens, okay, um, from chicken farms. Oh, okay. Um, but out in the wild, they'll eat anything from birds to small antelope. At this size, they'll eat snakes. They'll eat um, other smaller crocodiles. Okay. Um, pretty much any meat they can get their teeth into. Okay. There are quite a number of crocodiles at the snake park, but I really just want to see the snakes, guys. Bring out the snakes, okay? The name of the snake you're seeing right now is called the Burmese python. Its average length is actually three meters to five meters, so it's a pretty long snake. Their habitat is mostly jungles and grassy marshes. snake is called the South African rock python. A quick DYK is that the snake can lay up to 30 to 60 eggs, guys. And of course, their habitat is mostly rocks since they're called the South African rock python. There are a lot of snakes at Ndora Reptile Education Center. So I don't want to spoil the fun for you guys. I, you have to go and see the snakes and interact with the snakes.
to close off the youtube video let's have a rundown about ndoro reptile education center so the first thing is the reptile education center is open from 11 a.m to 5 p.m every day there's free parking tickets are three dollars for kids and five dollars for adults everyone is welcome in dory reptile so make sure you pay them a visit with friends or family